Hi guys, Shinji72 here, welcome to the first part of our Grey Call of Nocturnal walkthrough. I'm going to show you how to solve all the puzzles that many GT scattered around this uh, Uber Quest mod, but I'll talk also about the history of this mod, some behind the scene and some easter eggs. So I hope this will be enjoyable also for those among you who have already completed the Grey Call of Nocturnal. Ok, what are we waiting? Let's go! To start the quest for the Grey Call you have to steal something, anything, whatever you want. In this case let's have this, uh, this skull over here. Just asked. And they even discovered me. And there is the map, and there is the map. It's a kind of vision showing you where to go on the Temriel continent. Now I want to give you something, I want to show you something special. When this mod was in development and I was playtesting it, the vision was different and I rather like it, so I'm going to show you it now, how it was. Quite uh, the jump scare, I must say, many GT in the end uh, choose the map for consistency, but the grey coal phase, well, was, uh, was a bit of a jump scare. Anyway, it seems there is quite a lot of people who have had the problem starting the mod this way. So from version 1.1 there is another alternative start, you have to go there, in the house of the thief. Between Everstead and Riften you can miss it. You will have to crack a expert level lock to show you are a good thief. Once inside there is a statue of the Grey Call, but uh, it's a bait, there is, uh, you have to go there, another lock. And when you go into the basement, here there is the real statue of the Grey Call. Just click on it and uh, the quest will start. Check the journal and uh, look on the map, the location of the place, which is in the Markart Hold. You will find uh, this new house here, which is uh, Seviana House. So get inside and meet uh, Seviana. I'm Seviana Umbernox, and this is my husband, Luvia. We are the keepers of the Arrow of Extrication. Seviana will tell you about the Grey Call of Nocturnal and the legendary thieves, the Grey Fox. Grey Fox was, during centuries, many different people. And the last Grey Fox was uh, the champion, which is you playing Oblivion. Now, two centuries and one Elder Scroll game later, you, the Dragonborn, are going to inherit the Grey Call from the hands of the champion himself. But first you will have to locate the champion's secret mausoleum and prove yourself a worthy heir of the Grey Fox legacy. Good luck! and may Nocturnal guide you. Let's hope so, my dear Seviana, and remember, we have to think as a thief and go alone without any follower. Now we have to go to the Hall of Initiation, is this huge building on the border between Skyrim and Cyrodiil. Don't go for the central gate for now. Go for... Uh, let's go for the right tower, the tower on the right first. Go up there. You will find yourself in this walkway and activate the lever. Now, go back and go for the left tower, all the way up. Another walkway and there is another lever to activate. There is also a door. If you go for the door, you can watch a wonderful panorama of Skyrim. Yes, the famous Skyrim weather. Okay, now you can go for the central gate. There is a lever on the right. Climb the stairways, the, the road is clear, and uh, go for the door. On the interior there is apparently nothing, but uh, try to activate this uh, Grey Fox bust over here. These eyes will glow and the portal will appear. Just go there, it will automatically teleport you to the other location. Now Nocturnal is really guiding us with a pulsing light, let's follow this stairway. Enter this cave, there are some ruins inside, go straight ahead and you will find this room. Take the lockpick on this table, they will soon become useful, there is a door, you will need a key, and the key you have to go to the left. There is a gate here, you will have to unlock it. 
there are many lootable chests around here, so maybe you want to check them all, but what you really need is uh, this uh, key here, over this plate. Now, let's go back, uh, all the way. Of course, the key we have just found will open this door here, and let's go down again, down the stairway. Now there is something important here, is this, uh, this spell tome over here, clairvoyance. You may think it's another generic loot, but uh, in a few seconds you will understand why it's important. Now go down, go through this door, and you will be confronted with the flames of the flaming room. So, how to get to the other side? The usual Grey Fox statue will give you some hints. Point the way, light your way, line your way, see your way, make it clear. Have you got it? Yes, it's the clairvoyance spell. Now I keep the spell, activate it and, uh, and nothing happens. Yes, because there is actually a hidden walkway which is going through this room and the clairvoyance spell is supposed to make it appear visible. But for some people, me included in this case, it doesn't seem to work. But don't worry, on the grey coal nexus page there is a fix for that. With this patch you will find a different spell tom, Fate in Fire. It's another illusion spell. Now activate it and uh, this is what happens. Okay. It will make visible the invisible in a less uh, fancy way than the clairvoyant spell, but anyway, it's a workaround and it's working. Once you have got to the other side, there is another portal. Don't forget to look around for more lootable chests and go inside the portal. And now we are in Sancrator, which was one of the fort you had to explore in Oblivion. So we are in Cyrodiil now. This dungeon here is quite maze-like, so pay attention, go through this door. Anyway, it's still easy if you compare to what's waiting for us later on. So go down this uh, staircase here, open this door, go straight ahead and there is, you see, there is a gate over there. That's the gate we have to open. Now turn left. Be careful because, you know, many GT is a tricky guy and this place is full of trap. <laughs> okay, we have done it. There is another room, down there there is a locked gate, but you have to go there on the other side of the room and you will find a lever, okay. Click on the lever, uh, damn Mary GT, damn you! First rule when you play a Mary GT mod, always look behind your shoulder and above yourself. Okay, now go back, if you want to check there, there is some lootable chest. As you can see in the main room, now the gate has been, uh, that door has been opened. So let's go there. And don't fall into the trap another time. Okay, that was nasty. And let's go on. The first time I got here, it drove me insane. Because you are tricked into looking for the Grey Fox statue, but this time it won't activate. And, and you see, the activator is elsewhere, it's, it's on the wall. It's this uh, uh, raised stone uh, on the wall here. Click on it, activate it and go back. Now the gate has been finally opened and you will find uh, this new room. And uh, let me tell you, this is one of the most difficult part of the quest. Click on the grey fox and it will explain you what to do. To go through this door here you will need four keys. And the problem is, each one of the keys is uh, its property of a ghost. The ghost of a uh, blade, the Emperor Bodyguard. You will have to enter each one of these four rooms here, and you will have to retrieve the key, possibly by sneaking and pickpocketing. After all, you are supposed to be a very good thief if you want to get the Grey Call of Nocturnal. Oh, you can play the warrior way and kill all the ghosts, yes, but the problem is... Uh, Better be a good damn warrior because they can kill you with one shot. When you finally got all the keys, click here and the door will open. Go straight ahead, climb the staircase, open this door and there is the final room and there is another gate and the gate won't open so there is another activator somewhere. Yes, but where? 
Ah, for a moment you hoped you had found it, but these are only the inscription on the Blitz grave. So, what do we do now? What do we do now? Remember the first rule? You know, many GT is a very twisted person and he likes to make fun of you by putting the things right in front of your eyes or better, right above your eyes and you will have to jump to get it there eh, okay, and so the door has finally opened again, go through this portal to move to another location okay, it looks we are in some sort of we are in a prison and there are ghosts there is one ghost, there is another ghost, more ghosts are coming let's see what's happening the ghost entering the prison cell are actually another blitz ghost there seems to be three of them or four maybe they don't seem to be aware of my presence, of our presence Maybe they need to escort this ghost prisoner somewhere, but you see, someone else is coming now. Someone which looks uh, very important. Now it's pointing the way, and there is uh, secret passages opening. And this is the moment you realize you are watching the ghosts of the past, you are watching, you are experiencing something which happened in the past like uh, 200 years ago or uh, one Elder Scroll game ago. Yes, it's the intro of the Oblivion game. You, I have seen you. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Looks like this your doesn't game. concern you, out of our way. So we are back to Cyrodiil, the Imperial City. It's in the current year, I mean at the same time as the Dragonborn. But we had a vision about what happened here two centuries ago. Now the secret hidden passage has gone, the walls have been restored. So what's waiting for us in the Imperial Prison? Do you guess uh, who are these people fighting uh, and uh, how to get out from here? Well, this was uh, Shinji72, see you next for the Grey Call of Nocturnal walkthrough, part 2nd.